Sacred beast. That's everyone. Oh, what about the Alm of Fire? Did something happen to the Alm from Tiania? She, uh, Hina. She lost her core stone. We're looking for the person who stole it from us, and we're actually in a hurry. Not sure what you mean by core stone, but losing things is never fun. Sounds like most people haven't heard of core stones. The only news I can give you is no news. Sorry. There's nobody here but us Sproutlings, and I haven't seen any thieves come through the burrow in, well, ever, probably. Plus, there's nothing beyond Verdius but the mana tree, so. Oh, yeah! And that boulder at the entrance with the legendary sword stuck in it? But that's it. Huh? huh? Legendary sword? Oops, look at the time. I have to go water my friends. Bye! W wait! What sword was he talking about? Am I the only one in the dark here? The goddess of mana was said to have given a legendary sword to her hero champion. But I could have never fathomed that the fairy tale was fact. Orin and Hina talked about it once. I didn't think it was real either. Perhaps the kernel of truth behind the myth originated here in Elusia. It is the home of the mana tree. Our search for Orin might be a bus, but we still need an alm of wood. We should ask that kid from earlier what's up. True. Let's find him. He has to water his... what? Better look for him, I guess. A little cactus.
I'm sort of in the middle of my daily duties. Mind getting out of my way? Do all custodians water the plants here? <laughs> of course! Who else? I have to take care of my friends. Friends? Sure! This tree here is a good friend of mine. Wait, what? This tree is a Sproutling? Oh, I guess you wouldn't know. When the Sproutling goes to sleep for a long time, we tend to turn into trees. Every four years, just in time for the pilgrimage, one of my hibernating friends grows the most beautiful flowers. The alluring fragrance beckons the fairy to the burrow, and that lucky Sproutling gets to be the own. Only the most vibrant of Sproutlings can blossom, making them the perfect candidates for the Alm of Wood. Our patron, Elemental, wants lush foliage on all of her envelopes. But when are the buds meant to bloom? Usually the trees are already in bloom by the time the convoy of alms arrives. But not this year. There's probably no hope for the burl after all. I suppose we all gotta go sometime. Whoa, hold on. No need to jump straight to utter destruction. Nope. I think this is it for us. No flowers, no fairy, no future. Anyway, I'm sure you've all got stuff to do. Some bandit you're tailing or whatever. Hey, he's really gonna give up on his homeland? Just like that? Mm -hmm. Jule seems really knowledgeable about the pilgrimage. There's a lot more I want to ask him. Was there something else you needed, or were you that curious about my work? There's a lot we don't know about all this. I was hoping for answers. A chat would kill time better than my usual rounds. As you wish, all Sproutlings remain dormant for long periods with one exception. We alternate who looks after the rest of us while we sleep. As the custodian, I water my sleeping friends each and every day. I woke up four years ago just as the last pilgrimage was coming through the burrow. So for four years, you've been watering these guys waiting for them to bloom? All by yourself? Of course. Though, I guess it's not gonna matter much anymore if there's no arm. Might as well hang up my watering can. You can't be out of options already. Have you talked with your patron elemental? Maybe she can help. What a silly thing to say. Alms are appointed, not requested. There's nothing I can do about this. But how do you know if you don't try? I went directly to Sylphid and asked to be made the alm. You don't want this place to be destroyed, right? Then do something, anything. Go ask the elemental of wood to hurry it up. You've got to be joking. She's joking, right? Karina's telling the truth. She went out and found the Elemental of Wind in order to request her position as the Alm. But... but... that's going against the Hand of Fate. Perhaps mortals like yourself try to defy destiny, but that's not how we do things up here. Sproutlings take what life gives us, and we're grateful for it. I don't know how many thousands of years ago it was, but we watched your world teeter on the edge of destruction. All the while, we waited, tending the seeds as we've always done. Whatever hand fate deals us is our burden to bear. How egotistical to assume you know better than the goddess herself. Egotistical? That's rich coming from a stubborn weed like him. He's not wrong to stick to his principles. He just needs some perspective. <sighs> is following the will of the world really worth accepting the destruction of all you hold dear? Hmm, not that the workings of the Hand of Fate aren't important, but Karina's got a good point too. I don't want Jule to give up hope. You're a pushy bunch, you know that? <laughs> what is it this time? You're the one who ran off. We weren't done with our conversation. Actually, I didn't have anything else to say to you folks. I've said my piece. 
No need to get worked up about it. I'll tell you what. If an arm of wood is chosen, you'll be the first to know. So go ahead and look around for that cork stone or, or what have you. It's core stone, not cork stone. And that's our friend Soul you're talking about, bub. Hina, the Alma Fire, had her core stone stolen by Orin. If we don't get that piece of her back, then Tiania is in danger. Ferdia still has a chance. So use it! How can you stand around and throw your hands up like none of this is in your control? Don't you care what happens to the burrow? Think of your dormant friends. Don't you want to save them? Isn't that worth asking to become the Alma Wood yourself? Look, pal, I'm not going to take much more of your sass. You think I'm not worried about the fate of my home? There should be blooms by now. It's not supposed to be like this. Without flowers, the fairy won't come. Without the fairy, us sproutlings lose our purpose. No lives to preserve. It'd be the end of everything. Maybe... Maybe this is my fault. I could have overwatered the burrow or pruned something I wasn't supposed to. That worry is always on my mind. Jule. Here's a thought, Jule. We could all search for the reason the flowers aren't blooming. Huh? But don't you need to find that Aaron guy who stole from you? You said so yourself. No one has come through the burrow but us. We trust you to know what's going on in your home. Besides, I'm the Soul Guard. It's my duty to find the Alm and protect them from harm. Look, I appreciate the thought, but there's no cure for the burrow. It's pointless. Oh, honestly. Stop quitting before you start, kid. Come on, folks. We've got a job to do. I think this place doesn't get enough sunlight. That's what. The landscape in Verdius hasn't changed in millennia. They would have had problems long before now if it was the sun. Maybe Gnome's powers are too weak to reach here? It is true that Elusia is a tad far from other terrain. The solution may be that the sustenance given to the sprouts is being sucked dry. Hmm... That's a lot of leads to eliminate. Let's take a look around the area first. Hmm... The reason... <gasps> Wait! Could it be... Where'd Jule get off to? Well, while we wait for him, we can try to figure out the cause of all this. is covered in plants. No one can get through all this. Hmm. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want Orin sneaking past us. Unless he's the one that blocked it off? Val, I surrender. I don't know anything about growing plants. This foray is fascinating. Practically none of this flora was included in the almanacs of my adolescence. There's no getting around it. We have to ask the Elemental of Wood for help. Great idea! If the Elemental doesn't know what's wrong, no one will. Aww, I wanted to be the one to rub it in Julie's face when we found the answer. Sorry to disappoint you, Karina, but we haven't got the time to waste on fumbling around in the undergrowth. Dryad is the Elemental of Wood. 
and well-versed of these wilds. But who can say where we may find her? Would that I knew. At times like these, it's best to ask the locals. Ugh, great. Gotta bother Julie again. Just what I need. Huh? It can't be. Hello again, weary travelers. What a surprise. How did you get here? Don't you know there's a big old stock that reaches all the way up here? My sisters and I didn't want to waste this once in four years opportunity, so we climbed up. We figured now is the perfect chance to gather exotic ingredients like Verdius nectar for flavorings and potions. Besides, this place has everything. Ancient forests, dangerous pilgrimages, mysterious Gaian explorers. What's not to like? Sounds like you three have a full itinerary. Wait a minute. Did you say Gaian explorers? Where did you see one of those? Oh. There was a dashing young adventurer of that description over by the tree. We saw him ahead of us. We did lose track of him, though. Had to focus on keeping me our footing and all. <sighs> Oren's on his way. Did you see a sproutling around here? Short, green, leafy? Mm, nope. But I sure would love to meet a sproutling in the flesh. Uh, bark? <laughs> Terrifying cry, that's what! It came from the direction of Milo's woods. <gasps> Someone might be in trouble! Could be Jule, or even Orin. Let's check it out. Oh, before you go, do me need to stock up on anything? Now's your chance! Anything you want, for a price. Grab the goods you need to save your friend. Don't get stingy now, bye, bye, bye! They're the spitting image of father in miniature. That cry was coming from Milos. We have to check it out. Welcome! Peruse out your leisure. I see you have a good eye. Happy doing business with you. I see you have a happy doing business with you. You have a happy doing business with you. I see you have a happy doing business with you. Thank you. 
anytime. Welcome. All these goods are the cream of the crop. Take a look at my way. Thank you for your purchase. Take a look at my base meal for your purchase. Take a look at my base meal for your purchase. Come back again sometime. Welcome! for me to uproot it when it decided to nest near the burrow. Be careful! It's coming for us. Get ready, everyone. We need to weed out enemies like this one. Quick, Cosmo, you, you, you troublemaker! Strength of great judging from that reaction. I guess was My silent attack just now was apt. Now! call. We were almost too late. Why did you wander off on your own? Oh, look in the 
mirror, buddy. Oh, now what? I mean, that you made me wonder if Grapplevine might be the cause of the problems in the burrow. Don't get me wrong, this could all still be by the goddess's will, but I wasn't quite as sure anymore. And you all seem so convinced that something could be done, so... I wanted to check, but then I got attacked. Huh, and here I thought you were mad at us again. Glad to see we've convinced you to change your stubborn ways. That's... one way to put it. Destiny doesn't just fall into your lap every time. Maybe. But you weren't able to figure out what keeps the flowers from blooming either, right? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not experts in gardening. But when in doubt, it's best to ask for help. Jule, do you know where the elemental of wood is? <laughs> Dryad? Easy peasy, let me give her a ring. Oh, Dryad! Oh, yes! Um, hello! Jeepers! You got here fast! Were you nearby? Oh, forgive me! That is to say, I was looking for you, Jule. But then I saw you were tied up with Grapplevine and wasn't certain what to do. Oh, dear! The alms! Please excuse me. I am known as Dryad. A particular pleasure indeed, Dryad. We were just inquiring as to your whereabouts. Yes, I could hear you from over there, and I think I may know what caused all of this fuss. As Julie guessed, Grapplevine was the one behind it all. It absorbed all the nutrients from the plants, stunting their growth. That's why the flowers wouldn't blossom. Well, the monster is gone now, so that means... The flowers, my friends! Dryad, this is great. There'll be an alm after all. Mm-hmm. We can expect the blooms at any moment. Gee whiz! There's still so much to do. I have to get ready to welcome the fairy. Meet you back in Verdius. He's got some spring in his step now. Could I ask you, alms, and you, Sir Solgard, to join Jule? Sure. Irregular as this situation may be, you will be one of the few pilgrimages to see the flowering firsthand. That should count for something, I think. <laughs> Julie's in a better mood. I guess he gets grouchy when he's worried. Lucky for us. For now, let's head to the appointment ceremony of the Alm of Wood. Dryad, come on! Shake a root! Again, my apologies for the delay. I was considering Verdius's future and consulting with the denizens of the woods and such. <sighs> now then, let me see. With this spring breeze, I bid the trees awaken! Bloom forth! friends didn't bloom. I did. A humble custodian like me? An ohm! I thought only dormant sproutlings were fated to blossom. Oh, yes, well, you see, 
I was planning to choose you from the very beginning. That's why I went searching for you. Would you, Jule, be my emissary to the mana tree and fulfill the duty of the Ulm of Wood? <laughs> you got it, Dryad! Oh, but if I'm the Ulm of Wood, who will stay to tend and water my sleeping friends? They could brown or shrivel up and wither without proper hydration. I I can't leave them alone like that, Dryad. That'd be worse than any disaster that could befall Verdius. Jule? Huh. Come to us. We have a message for you. Wait, that's... Jule? What's wrong? I can hear my friends. They want to tell me something. Come on, let's go talk to them. I didn't notice anything, but I guess Jule could hear the voices of his friends. Better stick with him and check this out. company with your joyful singing. We asked Dryad to choose you as the Om on our behalf. That monster in Milo's woods has been draining us of our mana. We have nothing to spare on our butts. Grapplevine is defeated, but it will take time before we can bloom again. Too much time to avoid the destruction of the burrow. Well, what will you do without a custodian? You'll dry up. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Things will work out. Believe in the future of the burrow. We need you to convey the wishes of the Sproutlings to the mana tree. But you've all waited so long for the chance to be an alm. I can't take that honor away. Then use this, and together we will see the future flourish. Wowee, the elemental vessel! Dryad Sprig! Uh oh dear! So that's where it went. We forgot to return it before we went to sleep. Sorry. <sighs> but now that our work here is done, I think it's time to go back to sleep. Enjoy the manor tree, Jule. We'll see each other again. Take the words of encouragement from your countrymen to heart. You're lucky they can see you off on your journey. There was no one left in my hometown of Etern to wish me luck when I left with Val. But maybe, just maybe, there's a chance at bringing some life back to the parish if I complete the alms duty. That's my hope, at least. Morley's right. <sighs> it would have been nice to leave the Vale with everyone's blessing, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that. Everyone at home always told me I wasn't fit to be an Elm. But this journey has given me a lot to think about now that I'm here. And this from the person lecturing me about alms and duties just a moment ago. Huh. Sounds like the pilgrimage hasn't been easy so far. Thanks for putting up with me earlier. I look forward to our journey together. As short as it is. The mana tree's just over there, after all. Happy to have you, Jule. Oh, what are we going to do about the greenery blocking our way out of Verdius? Um, I apologize. That was my doing. I wanted to ensure that the path to the mana tree was protected. I will clear the way. Please give me a moment.
The mana tree is so close now. Though, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Orin's still out there. Whatever I can do to prepare, I should do it in the burrow. Dryad, we made it! Oh, good! I shall open the path for you. Heave, heave, and a whoosh! There you are! We have come upon the far corner of Milos Woods. Once we get out of here, our goal should be in sight. Um, excuse me, Sir Solgard? Beyond these trees is what is known as the Sanctuary of Mana. Unfortunately, only the alms are permitted to enter. The Soul Guard cannot go past the entrance. Yeah, I know. Either way, first I have my duty to Hina to fulfill. I will get her core stone back. The Merchant Sisters saw Orin when they were going up the Jack Tree, right? You're not gonna wait for him here, are you? If only we had an idea of his plans, we could try and head him off. I don't know the fella, but if this Aaron went to the trouble of climbing up to Lucia, he probably wants something from the mana tree, right? Why don't we stick together at least until we reach the entrance? Who knows? Maybe he'll come to you. You're right. Let's forge ahead for now. Oh, do be safe on your travels. There is a barrier around the Mana Sanctuary. Only alms are able to cross it, I am afraid. What? Really? But what if we get surrounded by monsters and we don't have Val to take them on? Don't worry. No monsters can trespass in the Sanctuary. Sounds like Morley did his research. The Goddess protects the Sanctuary from monsters with that barrier. Milo's Woods and the Sanctuary of Mana are all a part of the Spirit Realm. Or they were, at least. The what now? Spirit Realm? Well, it's a realm, but for spirits. It's where Elementals and Sproutlings came from. In the past, it used to be separate from the Mortal Realm, where humans live. The Mana Goddess used to be able to protect the Spirit Realm from monsters. But when all the realms merged, that changed. Merged, you say? Yup. Once monsters began to emerge in Milos, the goddess had to create the barrier to protect the sanctuary. It's really strong. Strong enough to protect the goddess in the mana tree. So don't worry. There's no way a silly monster could break through and get us. Uh, uh oh. Well, okay then. If you're sure. Every place we visit is unique. Under the cliffs was not nearly as unsullied as this climate. We are pretty close to the mana tree. Plus, 
Barely anyone but the convoy of arms ever passes through here. Not people, but it looks like monsters sure do. Tread carefully. Got some syrup! Yes! Come forth! I'm brimming with power! Are you fond of music, Julie? Sure am. I've composed 1,460 original songs to date. 1,460 songs? How bored were you? Taking this? Time to get to work. The vessel's full of magic. Our crawl for fruit. My thanks. What have you got? Oh, not bad. Up here. Take us where we need to go. The Dud Bears will love this. The Dud Bears will love this. Don't mind if I do. Not to be nosy, but have you noticed that spaces out a lot? Oh. That's probably what he's thinking about, Hina. Huh. Being human comes with a lot of strange hang-ups, if you ask me. I will take this.